Hello, this is Tove from Trifog Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Boolean modifier to put intricate details into your mesh. This works better with like static meshes. Those are meshes that like in walls or, um, you know, just images or meshes that aren't active. This is from my own experience. Uh, when you try to use this with a mesh, say you want to make a robot, you want to put like intricate details into it, it's better you model those things by yourself without using the boolean tool as opposed to using the boolean tool because there's a lot of cleanup and as a beginner you don't want to deal with that from the jump I'm going to show you what I mean when it comes to using this on a mesh when it comes to an armature let's delete this cube let me turn on my screencast keys turn that on and it is on but let's see okay there it is okay so we're going to put in a f uh, plane here shift A mesh plane. I'm going to scale this up and if you go into edit mode by pressing tab you can see that this plane is not subdivided at all it's just a flat plane with four corners four sides. Let's tab out of that and I'm going to put uh, use a boolean modifier to cut a circle in here. Shift A mesh uh, UV sphere so that's there. Let's make it a little bit better looking by shading it smooth by pressing W Shade smooth, hold down shift to kind of center and hold on our middle mouse button, kind of center our scene here. And I'm going to click on my plane here. Whatever uh, mesh you want to use as the object to be cut into has to be chosen for the Boolean modifier. This is the mesh we want to cut into using the sphere, which is our cutter. I'm going to use that term. Click on our mesh again, left click on that. Let's go to our wrench. Um, icon here, add modifier, and we're going to click on boolean, and we're going to then click on our eyedropper. Make sure this is the operation there is difference. And let's click on our sphere here, and click apply, and we're going to hold down or left click on our sphere here, click on our move gizmo. We're going to drag this up so you can see what the modifier has done, and you can see that it's a pretty nice looking sphere here, cut perfect circle. It could look better, but when we go into tab, edit mode, let's click on a sphere tab. You can see that this has only two lines going through it, and it's got all these little vertices around it to complete the hole. Now, if you were to apply a mesh or a uh, rig to this armature, this could cause a lot of problems because it wouldn't function right at all. Armatures are best based on good topology good quad placement and so on and so forth and this isn't good quad placement at all not even close to it so that's why you, you wouldn't really want to use a um, boolean to the boolean tool modifier in a mesh that is going to have a rig in it or you would have to just do a lot of cleanup to the uh, mesh in order to have it operate properly with the uh, modif with the armature let's tab out of that but let's use this to create something pretty intricate in terms of like a static object so we're going to press A twice and delete all this. We're going to press Shift A, mesh, and then choose a cube. Press S to scale it up. One to go into the front view. I'm going to press Shift A again, mesh again, and we're going to choose the same UV sphere. We're going to pull this out. Now, your the object that is the cutter. The way it's going to cut into you, the object that's going to be cut into is going to depend on when it comes to like the smoothness and the look of it. You're going to have to actually add more subdivision surfaces to this to get a smooth cut into the cube. So we're going to add modifier, having the sphere select the add modifier. Subdivision surface, 2 is good. Apply that, W shade smooth so now we have a smooth sphere here we're going to pull this into our um, cube left click on our cube add modifier boolean let's click on our eyedropper make sure this is still different so we're focusing on difference today because we want to have cuts into another mesh and let's left click on our sphere here and then we're going to click apply i'm going to drag this out oh sorry or drag the cube out or the sphere, the one's fine. You can see that we have a nice smooth cut into our cube here. Now we're going to scale this down. S. Oh, my wife and children, they've come back. 
Uh, I was trying to get this tour done before they came back in, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So we're going to pull in. We're going to use this uh, sphere to make a few more cuts into our um, cube here. So we're going to add modifier for this. We're going to add an array modifier. We're going to because we want this to actually have uh, be more spheres going upwards. So let's go to, into one to see, get into our front view. Pull this along the Z axis so it lines up to the bottom of our cube here. Add modifier. I think my son is asleep, so my, my wife will ask me to be a little bit quieter. So I'll try that. I won't whisper too much, but um, I'll talk loud enough so you all can hear me. But we're going to add an array modifier to this. And we want it to go along the Z axis. This, when you look to the the uh, the directions of the relative offset, this determines in what direction the spheres are going to go in. So, the top one is X, middle one is Y, bottom one is Z. We want to go along the Z axis. So here we're going to press zero in the X parameter, and along the Z we're going to put one. Enter. And we want to have some space in between the spheres. And to, in order to do that, we're going to click on the constant offset. Click on that. And increase this a few times along the z-axis. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's good. And in order to increase the number of uh, spheres going upwards, we're going to increase the count. So we want to go up quite a bit to the top. OK. And then we're going to click Apply. And what this is going to do, this is going to cut holes into our cube here. So we're going to left click and drag along the Y axis and pull this in. OK, let's go into one so we can see from the front view again. And we're going to click on our cube again, add modifier, boolean, click on our eye drop, and click on the spheres, click on apply. Let's see what it's done. Pull this out, and there you go. It's got these holes in the sides of our uh, of our cube here. I'm just pausing for a little bit because this is really cool. I mean, to try and do this, uh, just model, model these holes by yourself without the modifier, this would be pretty difficult to do. But with the modifier, it makes it really, really simple. So let's drag these over. One again. We, we want to do the same thing on our on the uh, left side of our cube. So let's drag this on the x-axis, and we're going to rotate this, holding our middle mouse button, rotating our mouse, and pull this along the y-axis. This right in the middle. Do the same process. Left click on that on our cube here. Add modifier. Boolean. Click on our eyedropper. Make sure difference is chosen. And let's left click on the uh, spheres, click apply. Let's see that what that's done, and it's done the same thing. So yeah, this is pretty nice looking. I've, I've got to say, I didn't think it was going to come out looking this nice. Sometimes when you use Blender, I don't know if it's a bug, what it is, you don't get the uh, the results that you're looking for. Sometimes that does happen, but today it hasn't happened, which is great. So you can continue this process by making different shapes and applying them, you know, with a Boolean modifier into the side of your cube or into a sphere even. But like I said before, it's better to use this concept, these techniques, or this technique, the Boolean modifier on a static object as opposed to a, a, an object that has an armature in it for good results. So yeah, that's that's uh, our quick tip for today, using the Boolean modifier to apply intricate details into a side of a mesh. And uh, that's our quick tip for today. Hope this was helpful. Those of you who are listening and watching, I uh, thank you guys who have subscribed and, and those of you who will still subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys and see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.